Hello guys, back here for another review. Today we're not doing Lego, we're doing uh, Geronimo Stilton books, The Kingdom of Fantasy, I only have up to book 5, but there's 7 books, but I don't have all 7. Um, so the first one is Geronimo Stilton, The Kingdom of Fantasy. And it has some ancient writing in it. So if you go to the back somewhere, it shows the ancient writings and the real letters. So you can translate it if you want. Um, this is one of the pages. And then they put a map in it. So it shows like one crystal coral staircase. And then that's where the coral staircase is. Um, and then like 12 pink pearl peak um, they also draw like doors to different um, kingdoms so this one's the kingdom of dragons there's also like The Kingdom of Giants. And then they have the door. Um, and then here's he's with the elves. And then... Door to the Kingdom of Gnomes. And has a picture. And uh, some of the words like unicorn, it's in blue. Because the unicorn's blue. So if it's like quicksilver, it's in gray or silver um, then this is the trolls and yeah and then they have a bunch of different tunnels to the other kingdoms Um, and then it has some more ancient writing. And then at the start of the book, he always gets a note. And then at the end of the book, he always returns back to his house. Then we have book two, The Quest for Paradise. It's the return to the kingdom of fantasy. So they have some pretty cool artwork. And then this one. Uh, you can find the crystal key, but they're pretty easy because that one's right there. <laughs> um, then they have all the trolls' names. And their faces. And then here's the dads. Here's the dad and the mom. 
and they own like 20 kids. Um, some of the <coughs> big pages have, can you find the crystal key? <coughs> but it's pretty easy because it's kind of like a, a really light blue and it looks realistic and the other stuff not as much. <clears throat> Some of them, they're like hidden because that one's in the moon. So it's kind of hard to see. Um, here's the candy land. Here's the chocolate kingdom. Here's a bunch of things. This one's not that hard. It's right there. Key. Um, then it shows you how to make the cheese mousse cake for real life. Then here it shows. Chocolate Kingdom, and it has a hundred percent gold here. And it says, "How did the Queen know that chocolates? Chocolate is my weakness." And then there's the Land of Toys. It has some Lego. This one's uh, where is it? The Kingdom of Gold. And it's all made out of gold. Except for a few things that John was children had because there's his shirt, there's his pants. And then the crystal keys there. And then there's some silver also, and diamonds at the top. And then there's the land of fairy tales. And then uh, with all the crystal keys, you there's like a hundred, like a hundred locks and like a hundred crystal keys. And then when he opens that, he falls in and it's actually a crystal cave then there's some hearts and then there's ancient writing so it says like what it is so this one might be like crystal of gold crystal of silver And you see when, always when General Stokin's dead, he always returns home. And then, number three, The Amazing Voyage, the Third Adventure, and The Kingdom of Fantasy. This one, you get some cool armor. Then it shows you the characters. Then he's in bed, and it flies on the dragon, there's a silver bowl, and there's a dead fish, and puss in boots, that's who helps Geronimo. And then, um, here, he's fighting her on his... He's, he's fighting the evil person, not the evil witch. When Joanne was on the good dragon and she's on the bad dragon. And then they're fighting here, but somehow he keeps dodging like his helmet flew off there. And then 
that one he just like spin around. Um, here she's a giant. She's making fire and trying to put it out with uh, the water thing. And then it shows the troll people. So there's like a fireman and a guard. Then he flies on the unicorn to his house. And then shows the fantasy alphabet. And then at the end here, it shows the map. Then here it shows all the kingdoms. Then it says the end. And then it always shows all of his books at the end of it. Um, then it shows C.S. Silton and Creeplia Von Crapper. And it shows Don't Miss the Other Two Dreamies. Then we have the Dragon Pro Prophecy, the fourth adventure to the, in the Kingdom of Fantasy. And then it shows all the people in it that he's with. Then he gets a phone call. I'm going to start here. He's doing this. Then he gets a phone call. Then here, uh, these are living trees and the fire's come closer and it's going to burn them. Um, he still has the same armor. And then there's a bunch of different dragons. There's some kid dragons also. Then there's Geronimo. Well, first of all, Geronimo uh, sits in the Seventh Knight's chair. And then uh, Fire Ref the Third thinks he's not supposed to be that he gets mad at him. And then the queen tells him he can sit there and then everybody's staring at him here. Here's the chase so good for him. Then, uh, here it shows all the places. Then, uh, they're looking for the lost egg. Because that's what the evil queen stole. And then he goes to a bunch of different places and uh, they each give him one thing and then he's not sure what he could use it for but he figures out everyone, everything he needs to use um, and here this is the trolls place super messy then the battle here and there's a rainbow when they win. Then he goes back home. And then he tells the kids his story of what he did. And it shows this. Moving on to the Last one, I haven't fully read it, so I'm only going to go to where I read it. Um, the volcano fire. At first, I thought this was a pirate ship. I'm not sure why, but then I, th I figured out it was a volcano. That's the fifth adventure in the Kingdom of Fantasy. Um, here... It shows all the people she's with. When there's a talking book. Um, then he's rushing to bring the papers, and all the papers are falling out. And then here he's get he's um, 
getting mixed up and stuff. Then he uh, smashes into his son, Benjamin. Then they go on a hike, and this is how he gets there. Uh, he's dizzy, and then, and then he falls into a hole. And it's in the Kingdom of Elves. Then it shows the map. And then there's the queen of the Kingdom of Elves. And there's the king. And then he gets his armor here, unbreakable boots, hard head helmet, brave belt, punch proof chest protector, and flexible tail cover so he can, he can still move his tail, but he can't, so you can see his tail there, so he can still move it. Um, then there's a picture of the Kingdom of Elves. Here they're going down a steep mountain. And then here he's in the library. And they all have books on their heads. This, and then there's an owl. And then he needs to ask a question, but then he asks it three places and then he figures out where he's supposed to ask the question and the th in the second one he figures out where he's supposed to find it or the first one but then that doesn't work so he goes to the third one that one doesn't work and then he goes to the fourth one and then here he falls into the water because of a bunch of tumbling rocks like here he's just sitting there. And then you can see his bags drifting away somewhere. You can't see it here. And then he tries to get it. And he figure he figures out um at the start here, the first volume. His name is Val. Uh, it says, I am a talking book at the Great Explanatorium. Explanatorium. I am the first of 12 volumes of an encyclopedia, but my dream is to one day become an exciting adventure book. And then at the library, he slipped into his bag. The book slipped into his bag. And then... That's it, because I haven't read the rest. Um, I might do a review of the sixth one and maybe the fifth one again. I might just go from the start again. Um, be sure to watch my...